So we've been chumming up these striper in this dock light with clam. We're gonna see if we can't catch one of these things off this dock light. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, get him. Hook him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh my god. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, guys, so I just got here to Sterling Harbor in New Jersey. They're a Hobie dealer, bait and tackle shop right on the water and Charles Breon who I'm going to be fishing with tomorrow who actually introduced me to Dan Schaefer who I fished with today which is probably last episode now he talked to these guys told them I was going to be here and they've agreed to not only kind of host me here but they're letting me stay in one of their motel rooms for the night so we can go fishing early since I'm about two hours from Indian Rock RV Park where my trailer's at I've been blown away this whole trip, this whole journey, the last seven months by how generous and kind people are to me despite not knowing me from Adam. Let's go check this place out. Charles says it's pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> how you doing? I'm like, does he know how to get back here? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, dude, talk about a view. Like, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, they were, uh, uh, Dan was talking about well, that. It's a spring tide, so it's so all the birds are like squawking and making noise. They yeah. can't get on their nest right now. Gosh. A lot of them can't. Yeah, it's flooded. Yeah, he was talking about that too, Dan yeah. was. Well, this is why this is the garden state. It's uh, not at all what I expected. Like when I think of Jersey, I think of just like the big city, I guess. The Sopranos. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't think of this at all. Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, I've watched that show, yeah. <laughs> It's nothing like I thought it'd be, man. This is beautiful. So this is like what we were fishing, was like out in that, yeah, right. basically. Oh, this is like a uh, fluke mecca, this place. I still haven't caught a keeper. I've never caught a keeper. They're around here. Tough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Times yeah. are tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To him goes ah, and he gets it, and they get, they net it, they bring it up on the boat. He's like, oh my god, that thing's huge. It's twenty pounds. Yeah. And the kid goes, yeah. <laughs> he goes, I wanted to catch a sea bass. <laughs> hey, I'm Kathy. I'm Rob. But anyway, well, we were fishing for rooster fish at the time. Nice. And. Uh, Probably been like, what, three girlfriends? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you count it? Then my dream girl walked in the door and said, Can I have a dozen eels, please? <laughs> I went, Honey, you're home. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is the 25th annual Duke of Fluke tournament coming up. Nice. It's in yeah. July every year, Duke of Fluke. What? Where's it out of? Right here. Sterling Harbor Marina. Check it out. Sterlingharbor.com. Six, six. Oh, this is sweet, dude. Nice. Digs for the night. So they have been gracious enough, kind enough, generous enough to let me crash here for the night, right on the water, so that Charles and I can go fishing in the morning. Blown away by the generosity of people I've come across. So we're here with Charles Breon from the Hobie Fishing Team. He's the reason I'm here in Cape May area. He insisted that I come check out South Jersey. It wasn't on my list, wasn't part of the plan, but he was very convincing. We were fishing with him the other day in Delaware. And so here I am. He's giving me a little tour right now, checking out Cape May, checking out the city, uh, get some grub, and then we're gonna get to uh, we're just checking out the local scene. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Cape May, like proper? This is Cape May, yeah, Cape May City. Presidents come to vacation here. Right. So it's a fishing town and centered around the sea, it seems like. It's surfing, incredible seafood, man. I've already incredible had great seafood, seafood up here. Yeah. Congress Hall, this is where, if you're a president and you come to Cape May, where you're staying. Yeah, super bougie. Super bougie. Super bougie. Washington Street Mall. Yep. Cape May Marlin and Tuna Club. Marlin fishing and tuna fishing is big out here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summertime. All big dollars. Oh, well, that's like a year-round fishery. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a yeah we have a massive year-round fishery, like sport fishing and you know commercial fishing, of course. 
So Poverty Beach. Poverty Beach, world famous. World famous surf fishing, surf casting destination. Pay to get on the beach. Yeah. Can't own the beach? Poverty Beach. I'm too rich for my blood. <laughs> I can hear you, man. I'm right here. I'm not from around here. I'm filming for YouTube, I'm trying to show the area. Comfort station. <laughs> it's KB, dude. It's That's bad. called a bathroom. And like for being, you know, uh, an old fish and whale in town, it's like so foo foo now because all this money that came in here. Makes it sound like you're just chilling there. <laughs> yeah. It's like a lounge. It's probably air conditioned. Yeah. Poverty Beach, a little misleading. Multi million dollar homes. You gotta pay, pay to walk on the beach. Oprah lives around here yeah. or has a house around here. Yeah. Dude, if we got Oprah to collab on this. <laughs> definitely blow up. You get a kayak, and you get a kayak. Everyone look under your seats, you all get kayaks. Looks like a saloon. Yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> the local spot that the Shoebies come, you know? The Shoebies. So explain the Shoebies thing, dude. What was the Shoebie? Uh, the term Shoebie comes from, I guess in the 20s and 30s when they used to come down uh, from Philadelphia on the train, that they would bring all their belongings in a shoebox. In a shoebox. Hence the term Shoebie. Any non-local, <coughs> just call him a shoebie. Florida equivalent of a snowbird. Yeah, like a snowbird. So fire control tower number 23. They use this uh, along with the principles of triangulation to help the ships aim their guns as the enemy ships came into the, what is this, the Delaware Bay? Yep. World War II. I went through that when I was a kid. Oh, you went through it? They did like tours? Uh, no, no, when we were a kid, it wasn't a big deal, dude. You we just were, ran in there. It was just a piece of trash on the beach. You know? Right, right. We just would run through it, fish off of it. The water used to come all the way up to it. Huh. So. Dude, if you were in World War II, like, not a terrible place to be stationed. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got the dream job. All right, that concludes our tour of Cape May. The nickel tour. The nickel tour of Cape May. Really sweet spot, dude. I'm digging the vibe. I'm excited. But now we're going to go do a little kayak fishing, of course, and go get changed. Load up the boats, grab my truck, head out for a few hours, see if we can't catch, hopefully, some sand tiger sharks. We'll see. It's pretty windy. We're going to go see what it looks like. Billy, shot boy. How's it going, man? Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. What you got there? It's a bunker. And uh, we're gonna grab some clams. All right, well, we were gonna go shark fishing. Uh, the wind is howling. It's coming straight across the Delaware Bay. Huge body of water, nothing to break it up. It is white capping like crazy out there. I know it's not gonna look like anything on camera. And honestly, up from up here, it doesn't look that bad, but it's white capping everywhere. It's always misleading from the beach. So we're going to plan B. We're gonna go try to catch some fluke. Shark things is not happening today. All right, so Operation Plan B is in effect. I'm gonna go out here for some fluke or flounder. Spoiler alert, it's still windy, but uh, we're gonna be bottom bouncing and see if I can't get my first keeper flounder ever. So pretty simple strategy. We're just kind of drifting with the wind, but the wind's blowing so hard, I'm having to pedal into the wind to slow my drift. And then I'm just balancing this tandem rig right up off the bottom. Oh, it's decent, dude. All right, dude, did not take long at all. Charles got a little flounder already. Beautiful fish, dude. Got some chompers. Despite some uh, difficult conditions, getting it done. Whoops, misjudged the tide there, bro. Oh, dude, there's like high and dry. He bobbed when he should have weaved. He bobbed when he should have weaved. Dan's just way better than than C1 or two here. Yeah, he's better than <laughs> <laughs> what we got going on here, man? Try the scallops here. Do you like uh, a little spice? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. You're from Texas. What the? This is the medium hot. Nice. And it makes these sweet scallops like sweet and spicy. So he's fresh off the boat, you said, right? Oh yeah. He's just got off the boat. I guarantee you, this is gonna be the freshest scallops I've ever had. These are still kind of quivering if you look closely. <laughs> I don't know anything about flowers. Yeah, Did I just open up a can of worms? No. <laughs> but they get, you know, they get tall, like nice. 30, 40 feet tall. They bloom now, obviously. So I can see it's starting to get roots now. Nice. What is this? That's, uh, that's it. That's it. 
that's it. It's, it's a Six Flags. Yeah. Dude, there's legit fast right fishing flags. spot right by Six Flags. You can actually see the rides. Yeah, Prosper Town Lake. Yeah, Prosper. Oh, that yeah. Prosper Town Lake. Uh, less than a mile from where my campground is. You pedal out that's there. That's where I'm staying. And you Prosper Town Six Lake. Six Flags. No. I didn't tell you I was like. Dan Schaefer just showed up. You guys saw him last episode. Caught that giant sheep head, topwater striper, killer day. Just showed up for dinner. He heard scallops came running. It was it was a grind, but it was a grind. Well, it wasn't to start. To no. start, I was like, this is gonna to be the best day of fishing my whole life. A bit of luck. Starry, sweet girl. Thank you. I speak decent Spanish, uh, President. I know George doesn't. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, he threw my Spanish cassette tape. I'm, I'm dating <laughs> so myself, guys. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> he pops it out of the cassette the, the cassette, or, you know, in a rental car in Costa Rica, and he threw it out the window. <laughs> oh God. I'm like, the time. You got like a certain temperature you go for. You just know when it's right. See a little fish on there? Yeah. That's where I turn it up to. Nice. Fish degrees. <laughs> Best. Anytime, buddy. Who loves you? We'll be here all week. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this will be the first time I've had real, real scallops, I feel like. Real fresh. Yeah, exactly. Real. Done super quick. Fried, golden, brown, crispy. Dude, I can eat them all. Finger licking. Yeah, dude. Finger licking, good. Scallops are, oh my uh, god. scallops are off the chain. Wow. Yeah. I've never really had scallops like that. Like real scallops, yeah. fresh. You got them off a day boat yesterday. So. Yeah, man. They swim. Right. They I've seen like, it. Bro. So in Florida, people snorkel, but those are bay scallops. They're, That's not, they're not river. Yeah, and you, and you yeah. snorkel for them. These things are like... Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Uh, I really just cannot say enough about George and Kathy here at Sterling Harbor. They have just been so amazing to me. They're such good people. So fun to be around. You got to check this place out if you find yourself in Cape May. So we're here at Dan's dock. It's got the dock light going. We're hoping there's some striper around it. There's a little bit of bait. Draw some clams, see what happens. I feel like I'm in Florida, dude. This is Florida right here. Don't go. Oh, dude, dude. Those two are like biting over that one. You throwing clam? Well, we were gonna go blind drum fish. Oh, we got it, dude. There he is. That broom got it. Got it. You can catch him if you want. So we've been chumming up these striper in this dock light with clam. By we, I mean Dan Schaefer here. <laughs> I'm about to tie this bottom sweeper jig on the end of this spool of fluoro. We're gonna see if we can't catch one of these things off this dock light. It's you wanna right. match the hatch it's when you're hand lining clam for striper on the dock. You gotta match the hatch. It's very Ralph Lauren. Very Ralph Lauren. It's in this season. Oh, we're after Labor Day, dude. You never fish wide after Labor Day. Hand lining with bottom sweeper jigs. You don't even need a rod. No, Just no. take that rod, leave it home. You don't want that. You want me to fight it off the spool? Yeah. Like, yeah. Hold your hand. He said, well, yeah. She keeps drag, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> you gotta get a can. We can put it on. You are the drag. How do I tighten the ring? <laughs> I know, dude. They're down there. All right. It's my wife, bro. All right. Bottom sweeper jig, man. Bottom Big sweeper cap, jig. A little bit of clam. We're about to see what we can make happen. Oh, I'm scared, bro. This is about to be. We gotta send you down. Now, listen, try to get the same speed as the uh, thing is. Don't shine the light too much up there. I did not think it was gonna be that quick, bro. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. He's so green too. I just I so panicked. I panicked. Now where'd you hook that? Let's see here. Right in the corner of the mouth. Right Come here, buddy. Corner of the mouth, dude. <laughs> Bottom sweeper jigs, hand lining for striper. Oh. Piece of clam right off the dock, dude. These fish, everyone acts like these like majestic. You have to like be just the perfect presentation. <laughs> That's so awesome, dude. I can't believe it took two <laughs> seconds. I was like, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna let her go on this side so she doesn't let her friends know what's going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sweet oh, release, man. I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> I apologize to the group for that. Field tripping. That's my bad. <laughs> I can't believe that just worked. <laughs> we out here. We out here. Here. Oh. Hand line of striker. I know. 